Okay, I just have to give a quick room tour. This room is just so beautiful. It's blowing me away. We checked into this gorgeous room with an ocean view and settled in before I decided to get changed to go and enjoy a complimentary welcome drink. I love this dress. This one's, I got this from Reformation. Very cute, but it's see-through. So I have to wear a bikini underneath. <laughs> but it does like kind of go down low, so I have to wear a bikini. Whoa. Isn't it fun? Mm -hmm. Let's go get a little welcome drink while I talk about what I'm doing here, why I'm back in Bali again. Also, their welcome drink was a tea that they grow locally on site, which was really cool. I chatted with the bartender and then went and took myself to the other part of the hotel for dinner. They have these private buggies that can pick you up right at the lobby and drive you over, which I thought was so nice. But basically, the reason I'm back in Bali is, short answer, I love it here. It's gorgeous. Growing up in Singapore, it was just a short flight away. So I've grown pretty familiar with Bali and it just feels like a safe space for me. But long answer is staying at this hotel was actually a very exciting work opportunity for me. I'll keep chatting about this more in the video, but first I want to touch on how amazing this dinner was at Kampong Bali. It was all traditional food, buffet style. I tried so many dishes I had never had before and I've been to Bali over 10 times. The saute was incredible. They also had live performances. Here he's explaining to me some traditional Balinese desserts. Here I am really enjoying the dinner with a show. It was so entertaining. I had also never tried Bobby Guling before, so I was excited to have some. I'm not even exaggerating how incredible this buffet was. I went home and called my dad just to brag to him about it. Also, they bring your food right to your table, which was so sweet of them. And one of the highlights was getting to try all the local desserts and unique tropical fruits. I was especially excited to try the Balinese version of shaved ice or ice jumpor, which basically means mixed things. I love jackfruit. You love jackfruit? Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you want coconut milk? Nice. Love it. Go syrup. Spoon of this. Coconut milk. And for the last one, it's again. Wow. I was so unsure what all the textures would feel like, but the flavors meshed so well, especially the coconut and the jackfruit. That was incredible. The next day, I woke up at the crack of dawn to do a sunrise yoga class right by the ocean. If you know me, you know that I'm a holistic nutritionist and I've also really recently gotten into yoga. So this was a perfect way to wake up in the morning. I also decided to do a quick weights workout after. So I used the gym at Ayana Sagara and I feel like working out is just a great way for me to feel grounded, especially when I'm traveling. So I just did a quick 20 minute one before going to breakfast. So I finished yoga and a quick workout and now I'm starving. I walked by the breakfast buffet on my way to the gym and it looked incredible. I'm so excited. So me and Kylie are gonna finish getting ready and then go down and have some breakfast. The one thing about Bali and Southeast Asia is that my hair gets like crazy in the humidity, but I grew up with this and I'm used to it. It's just kind of like expected at this point. But basically your hair gets kind of like frizzy and clumpy in this weather. For breakfast, I'm just gonna go down in this like cute skirt I've had forever since probably I think like two or three years ago from Princess Polly. And I got this top recently for New Year's. So I'm re-wearing both these items because I think it's really important to re-wear clothing. I don't like to do fast fashion and throw away my clothes. So re-wearing both of these. And this is from O Polly. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm starving. So let's go get some food. <laughs> The 
Their breakfast buffet was incredible. They had a Western station, a Chinese, a Korean, and Japanese station as well. I got fresh fruit and a mix of things that I wanted to try. Also got a latte with two shots of espresso. It was really good. And while I'm doing a quick little mukbang, I'll go back to talking about why I'm on this trip and what I'm doing in Bali again for the 100th time. <laughs> so the exciting business opportunity is that this hotel reached out to me to come stay and try their services, their food. Simultaneously, my friend Kylie, who's with me on this trip, was doing her master's in China and wanted me to take her to Bali because I'm like the designated Bali tour guide, I guess. I feel like I always get car sick. Really? Yeah, it's Don't exhausting. Think so. Okay, I'll, I'll stop looking at my phone. <laughs> For our first full day in Uluwatu, I took us to go shopping into a local cafe. I'm actually shopping for a surfboard, but I don't think I should buy one in Bali. I think I should buy one when I get back home to California. But it's always fun to window shop, right? Then we got lunch at this cafe that I had never been to before, but the menu sounded really good. I got this breaded cauliflower that was really good, as well as guacamole and chips, and me and Kylie ended up sharing that Mexican chicken bowl that she had. <laughs> Are you excited? I then took Kylie to my favorite beach in Uluwatu called Padang Padang, which if you watched my solo travel vlog to Bali last summer, I came here as well. But I love it because it's secluded. You have to walk through that kind of cave to get there. And it's just a beautiful beach. I love just walking around, looking at all the shells, but also side note, this is silly, but a good reminder, don't take from nature. I'll always take pictures of the shells and then toss them back. When we were done exploring for the afternoon, we came back and got ready for our drinks reservations at the rock bar. Cocktail time. Yeah. He's so nice. He is giving us a buggy ride. <laughs> this bar is stunning and it's on the cliff side of the Ayana Resort, so I was really excited to go check it out. To get to the rock bar, you have to go down this elevator, which was kind of cool and kind of a little bit of a roller coaster. And then once we got down there, we walked through this cave to get to the other side. The ambiance of this place was spectacular, so fun. The DJ was blasting house music, drinks were flowing, it was just the perfect bar to be on a Saturday night. I ordered their famous award-winning cocktail, and then we also shared a few bites to eat, and for my main, I got the lamb, which I really loved. Overall, this spot is perfect for drinks. The food was good too, but honestly, the drinks were what blew me away. If you're gonna come to this spot, come for the drinks and the atmosphere. The next morning, I decided to go to the gym again because I'm doing 75 hard, so that was a fun little quick workout before going and getting breakfast, and I thought I would talk about how I select my meals as a holistic nutritionist while traveling and also just generally as someone who has pretty good food freedom and balance when it comes to eating. First off, taste is a big indicator of satisfaction, so I try to eat foods I truly enjoy in order to stay full, but as you saw, I also like to add fiber and protein because this helps balance blood sugar levels. I just finished breakfast and now I'm gonna go down to their spa to do a thalassotherapy massage which I had never heard of before but I just did a quick google search and apparently it's when you're massaged under salt water. Try that out and see what that feels like so let's go to the spa together. I'm actually so excited to try out this massage because I am so sore from working out. I'm gonna go surfing today as well, so I think a massage before surfing would be ideal.
They explain to me that the therapy is basically bathing in this saltwater pool, walking around the different courses, and being massaged by their jet propellers. It was honestly a lot more relaxing than I expected, but I went through it faster than most people just because I can't really sit still, but that's on me. Get ready with me to go surfing. <laughs> Plus Kylie. I'm really excited actually. Go on surfing in like, I don't know, like two months. And Kylie's surfing for the first time. Get in here, girl. <laughs> she looks like a badass from a matrix. <laughs> So I'm gonna quickly put in some leave-in conditioner because my hairstylist David was like, if you're gonna highlight your hair, don't don't go into salt water without putting leave-in conditioner. Also, he told me to wet it first with normal water. So that's what I did. I went to the spa, took a shower, and I'm putting in this leave-in conditioner that, what is the brand, Redkin? Putting that in my hair real quick. I'm just gonna put a, like a ton. I don't even know if this is, a lot but it feels like a lot okay and i'm just gonna put it everywhere because i don't know what i'm doing and i'm just presuming you put it everywhere right Kylie? yeah if i could like even up here yeah yeah you're gonna wash it all out grandma kylie <laughs> gonna go surfing <laughs> And today we were going surfing in the morning before going and having a cocktail making class at Ayana's organic on-site farm. I was so excited for that. Uluwatu in general is a great place to go surfing, but the surf instructor that I hired, Donnie, recommended coming to Nusa Dua because the waves were better. That's the one I'm gonna try to surf on. <laughs> he was so nice. He picked me up from our hotel. I also called Kylie a Gojek so that we could motorcycle together. I'm going to include Donnie's information down in the description if you want to take a lesson with him because he's a great surf instructor. So we just finished surfing and now we're going to go do a cocktail making class at their farm, the Ayana farm. Me and Kylie are both a little dead from surfing, <laughs> but I think a little, a little drinky poo will wake me up. So. <laughs> We got to see all the different ingredients that they use in local dishes, as well as some edible flowers. He explained to us too all the medicinal properties and healing properties of certain veggies. I'm like a horse. That does taste like a vegetable. <laughs> I also got to eat this leaf straight from the tree. It was crazy. A real life kangaroo. It's actually kind of yummy. <laughs> it tasted a little bitter, but reminded me of tea. Tastes like any? Does it taste sweet? Sweet. Whoa. Stevia. But it was so exciting getting to pick our own edible flowers for our cocktails. Okay. Kylie's passion fruit for her passion. <laughs> and I think the cocktail making class was what I was most excited about. Ray, Morgan, and Kylie are gonna make bomb cocktails. All right, last first. Okay. And then this could be. If I can take out. Yeah. If you do like that, if you do muddling like this, that will be splash the, the liquid from the ingredient when you muddling will be splashed to you. Nice. Okay. okay. Wow, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> standard uh, pouring. This is the standard just can handle. Yes. And then how to shaking properly, you can do like this. If you do like this, oh, the ice be... will be broken. Oh. Yeah. So, so if you do like that, the ice will rope. be rotated. So it's like it's like if you go to a fancy bar and they're going like this, you're like, wow, oh, <laughs> they know that shit. But a little bit, uh, a little faster, a little bit more speed. Yes. Yeah, am I doing it right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kylie drink number one. Morgan drink number one. Morgan. Kylie. 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 <laughs> 
What are you doing? Tequila. Wait, can tequila. I see? Tequila, mangosteen, mango passion, chili. Spicy. <laughs> the double margarita. <coughs> the spicy. Spicy. After our delicious cocktails, we got to enjoy a very fancy, beautiful dinner at Scusa, which is the restaurant located in Ayana Segara. They gave us a quick tour of the wine cellar before leading us to our seats. The interior ambiance is gorgeous. It was all very quiet and peaceful inside. I honestly felt like such a princess sitting and eating here. This was one of the top five dining experiences I've ever had, and I hope one day my future man can treat me to something as special as this. <laughs> no, but actually, I do believe it's so important to treat yourself, and I truly feel like I've become so secure with myself just because I can date myself, and I don't need anyone to provide for me. Anyways, the food was incredible. I loved the steak and had to get tiramisu because it's my favorite dessert. Good morning. So me and Kylie just shot some content for the hotel, hence the flower. And now we're gonna go have some breakfast. They arranged a floating breakfast on the rooftop pool, which is gonna be really cool. So I'm gonna change into a different bikini and then let's go. <laughs> This bikini I think is turning out to be one of my favorite bikinis and it's actually from Kulani Kinis and I'll link it down below as well. But I'm really loving the color. I feel like it's just so cute and tropical. It's fun. Here's bikini number two. I really love this one. So let's go enjoy some breakfast. Yeah, I think this is my favorite bikini of all time. I love it. Where is it from? I got it from Revolve actually. That's and it really was, cute. I think it's the brand, um, what is it? It's from the brand Lovers and Friends. Oh. I got it on sale, funny enough. I was like, does no one want this? I think this is so cute. Little cover up. We're ready. <laughs> This was our last morning at the hotel and they treated us to a really beautiful floating breakfast at their rooftop pool. We ordered the Indonesian breakfast because I wanted to have some more local food. I also had myself an orange juice and an iced coffee. I was so sad to leave, I didn't want to check out. This whole experience was so relaxing and rewarding. Hey, Morgan's videographer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mukbang time. Chicken satay. Should we be closer? Whoa! <laughs> I really like the fried rice, to be honest. We're gonna put some sweet. Maybe me and Kylie should just make a mukbang channel. <laughs> There's a lot of like scary food. And before checking out of Ayana, we enjoyed a beautiful Japanese meal. This is the garden. Uh, oh, there is the This is a restaurant I will definitely be coming to again when I come back to Bali. The quality of fish was just mouth-watering. Honestly, such a good last meal to have before leaving the resort. Some of these fish I've never had raw before, so I'm gonna try like raw shrimp, I think. It is raw, right? And there's a gold leaf on it. How beautiful.
Wow, that's really good. Really? What is this? Can someone help me figure out what this is? <laughs> this is scallop. That's so good. Nicest toilet ever. Toilet and the view. <laughs> We had a late checkout at 2 p.m. and I got quickly changed so that I could surf again with Donnie. And stay tuned for the rest of this trip. Check back on my channel for the longer version of this video where I talk about where to stay in Bali, activities that you can do, my favorite spots, and more. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video.